Hi guys, Samantha from Juicy My Tutorials here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic bullseye cane. So first what you're going to want to do is choose two colours, any colours will be fine. And I'm going to be using Prima today as it's winter currently and so Kato's a little hard for me to work with. So I've chosen white and black. Now you can see that I have a white in a log and I've got the black in a strip. I haven't trimmed the strip yet. So I'm just going to quickly tidy up the edges. Very quickly. There we are. Now the white over here is a little bit dirty because I was rolling the black and I forgot to clean my hands and so I got a little bit of the black residue on the clay but as you can see where I've cut over here it doesn't actually make any difference to what the clay looks like so you don't really have to worry too much if this happens to you but on another note it's always best to clean your hands between clay colours because some residue can get from your hand onto your next colour There we are. That's about right. Need a little bit thinner. Now the black's been on my thickest, on the thickest setting of my pasta machine, so it's quite thick. Okay. So when you are rolling a piece of clay along onto another piece of clay, you don't want to just do that, because then what will happen is when you reduce this. You won't have a nice even border, one part of your border will be thicker than the other. So what you want to do is you want to roll it down and you want to mark off your edge over there. So you can see that by me pressing like this, you get a mark where you need to cut. So I'll do that. Then what you can do is you can just press it into place. And this way you'll have a nice even border. And this applies to basic, this applies to any cane making. You don't want to have an uneven border. You want to try and keep it as even as possible. So that's basically how you create a bullseye cane. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be reducing it. And in the beginning when you've got quite a thick but short cane you don't want to be rolling it on your work surface because you'll mess up the ends over here and end up with a lot of waste you want to start in the middle and pinch rotate and pull at the same time and this is how you reduce your cane when it's in its beginning state and once it starts to lengthen you can swap between rolling and pinching and this is basically how you reduce a round cane. If you were to just roll, you would end up with sunken ends and you'd end up with a lot of waste. So swapping between pinching and rolling means that by pinching you'll reserve clay on the ends and end up with less waste. But you also want to roll so that you keep your round shape. So that's basically as reduced as I want it. Now I'm just going to cut off the ends and when you do have waste, which you will inevitably have, you want to save it and in some video later on I will show you how to use your leftover clay to create some really interesting effects. So there's basically no waste in polymer clay and even if you end up with a really ugly colour you can use that as padding for some other projects. So. There is never any waste in polymer clay, so don't throw away your waste. So that's basically how you create a bullseye cane. And it's one of the simplest canes you can get in polymer clay. And it is what I call a base cane. You can't really do much in polymer clay canes if you don't know how to create a bullseye cane. Because although it's simple, you can make some really interesting canes with it. Like a lace cane which I'll be showing in a later video. So 
I do hope that this was helpful to you and check out in the description below for more links to videos like this one and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.